What's up guys, welcome back to Natty Garage. In today's video, we have something that we actually filmed back in August for you guys. We were just gonna upload it just like that, but then we realized the timeline is completely off. We got a lot of cars since then. We did a lot to this car as well. I don't wanna, you know, show too much about that because we just filmed a video on that as well. We're trying to knock out a lot of videos for you guys, but that video has just kind of been getting like, just in the back burner. Like we keep getting other videos out for you guys and we're realizing that one just keep falling behind. The more and more it falls behind, the more and more it doesn't make sense. So just kind of update you guys. This video we did film a while back. It is honestly a really cool video because it is something that's pretty crazy. You really don't see 335 ISs in this condition with these kind of miles ever. Like I've never seen it. Kind of a cool video, kind of a cool car and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. What are we doing today? Today, uh, we've already gotten two 335 ISs. One we're rebuilding, one we already parted out for 90 Auto Parts. Uh, but this one, we don't know what we're gonna do yet just because as mechanical damage is absolutely pristine shape. I but know. it is the highest mileage 335 IS I have ever seen. I know, dude, it's like, crazy. <laughs> I think the highest mileage clean top I've ever seen is like 190,000 miles, which is crazy. That is pretty high for a 335 IS. And this one has a lot more. It has a lot more. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we're here today. We got the truck and trailer. Everything's already hooked up. We're literally about to go head out to Copart right now to pick up this 335 IS. So we are gonna take you guys along for the journey. So uh, let's go ahead, buckle up, get some gas, and uh, head over to pick up the car from Copart. Guys, we just made it down to Martinez Copart. Pretty excited to see this car. Guys, 200, I believe 220,000, right? Yes, 220,000 miles, guys, on a 335 IS that looks absolutely immaculate. Yes. I don't believe it. I feel like the miles have to be fake or something, but considering the price that it went for, and considering, I think it totaled that because of mechanical damage, because yeah. there's literally no physical damage to the car whatsoever, and it's a salvage title. So anyways, excited to see this car, highest mileage car. We were thinking about fixing it, but I also think it's just better, again, a lot of you guys want some 335 IS parts, so I think it's just better, end of the day, to part it out. It's a part Definitely, <laughs> especially the high mileage too. Like if we slap an engine in it, 220,000 miles. Literally. That's crazy. See, as soon as we get this car loaded up, we're gonna strap it down, take it back to the shop, and see the condition of this bad boy. I'm super stuck again. I love 335 ISs, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be excited for this one. Hopefully the headlight's good. Headlight, I think the headlight's good. Yeah, but this fender is freaking broken. But you guys, as you can see, these tires are brand new Michelins, keyless entry doors. Not too oh, shabby. The interior is pretty mint. Interior does look uh, pretty good. I don't know if that's a rip right there. We really can't see it from that angle. You guys might be able to see it better than us right now. Yeah. But damn, look at that steering wheel, bro. It's actually in good shape. That's pretty mint, if you ask me. Coming out to the rear. For being such high miles, to be honest with you, it's like it's in pretty good shape. IS diffuser. Now the thing is with this car, guys, uh, we don't really know what the mechanical damage is just yet. So we're gonna find out is it the engine or the transmission. We're hoping it's the engine because the transmission, you guys already know, is the DCT transmission, but I guess we'll find out once we get it back to the shop. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get it strapped down. We got a big, we got a long drive back home. We really do. Alright guys, we got the car. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and take it back to the shop. Show you guys around it a little bit more because in the direct sunlight and right at Copart, it's really dirty. So we're gonna wipe it off, see what we got, see how the condition is for the seats and everything, um, and then go from there. So we will catch you guys back at the shop. Oh, 
was a lot of work pushing it. It was a lot of work, but honestly, it was very easy to put in neutral. We do have an oil leak here. We haven't really given the car any power. We don't really know what's exactly going on with this car just yet. We'll probably give that another day. It is super hot out here. We both got to get going. It's getting a little bit, I guess it doesn't look like it's getting late, but it's getting a little late. A little late. Uh, so, but I mean, from the looks of it, we bought this from a person, not an insurance company. So typically when you buy it from a person, um, they typically like to doctor things up. Considering this fender was broken in the pictures, this engine bay was not popped open. So I was a little afraid that they threw in some broken headlights, but these actually look really good. Headlights seem to be in really good shape. No lenses are cracked on both sides. That's pretty much where most of the money is. What would also be super sick is if this thing has index 12s. I think these are automatically aftermarket, right? That does not look like the factory bolts are supposed to look. how clean that looks on the side right there. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm pretty sure it's the engine, but uh, I guess we'll find out uh, in another day. Same video, another day. So anyways, a lot of things going on with this car. Super excited about it. Can't wait to show you guys what's going on with it, but we'll see you guys when we see you guys. So guys, this is the next day. When I mean the next day, I mean a few days later. We were kind of uh, tied up with the M6. It did take us a long time to part that thing out. It was some good stuff, good stuff. Anywho, so now the 335 IS is gonna be heading inside the shop. It looks honestly very, very, very dirty. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is just give it a very good cleaning, see what parts are damaged, see what parts are actually good. I think the first thing we should do is just getting inside and get it cleaned up. <laughs> so dirty bro well it's so Ooh. dirty but guys for 220,000 miles this thing's pretty mint it does look pretty good like like just looking at i mean i think the only damage i saw There's obviously we haven't even cleaned it yet is yeah some paint cracks paint on crack. the rear bumper that's a little unfortunate but considering 220,000 miles it was bound for him to bump into something literally <laughs> it honestly looks so good i'm thinking about snagging this for my wife's car because <laughs> It looks good guys. We have the navigation system, CIC, honeycomb trim, paddle shifters. Um, this actually still was in really good shape. This trim is not peeling anywhere, which is also really, really, really nice. Um, and again, so much more nice things in this interior. I'll go ahead and show you guys all of that here in a little bit. But again, main thing is, let's get her cleaned up. Oh, yeah. So now that we got the car pretty much cleaned up, it's looking a whole lot better. It honestly looks like a car that we don't want to part out again. <laughs> yeah, every single time, bro. The M6 and the C35 IS, just mint examples from the outside. Both these cars have no accidental damage, but both of them had mechanical damage. And that's actually the reason why we're parting these bad boys out. This one, in fact, has 220,000 miles, which I mentioned earlier. And uh, we're trying to figure out what exactly is mechanically wrong with this. Is it the turbos, is it the engine, or is it the transmission, which would really suck. I guess we'll find out we, we did put some power to the car i'm not really too sure if this battery is completely shot um, but we do have our jump pack on it let's go ahead and try to see if it'll at least try to crank over or something yeah. i'm really curious if it actually is or not i bro genuinely oh, so first off you put this thing back in uh it will start in neutral it, was, it should start right it should all right key in the ignition bro this car is mint it's pretty mint i'm not gonna lie it's so nice 215,000 miles it's actually better than i thought ready one more truth Oh, that's a really bad battery. Should we swap out the battery real quick? Yeah. All we right. need to probably swap out the battery just because, like, I don't think no matter how much juice we give this battery, it's completely shot. So let's go ahead and uh, swap out that battery with another good battery and uh, get this bad boy started. Did you say that we have a good battery in the car now? The battery we took out was honestly just very drained. It was a 2022 BMW battery, so we're gonna try to see if there's life in there. We'll put on the trickle charger. Hopefully, if everything's good with it, we're gonna put it on the battery tester. If that comes back good, I'm not throwing one of our cars. I know, it's a good BMW, BMW 2022 battery. Yeah, that's like a nice. brand new battery nowadays. So now, All right, now is the real moment of truth. Moment of truth, just gotta put the trickle back on it. Yeah, I smell gas too. Yeah. I, I have a feeling it's a blown engine. That's Bro, my you bet. I just realized, it could be a blown engine, or it could be a leaky fuel injector. You smell like gas? So it's probably just misfiring super bad. Bro. Which we have like eight index 12s. <laughs> Bro, imagine, I don't think we can part it out then. No, 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 we're not parting it out. If it's actually just an injector, we're keeping this bad. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily we haven't taken much apart yet. Yeah, we haven't taken like anything apart, the really. The door card, one little thing, but we can put that right back. Not a big deal, but. If it actually starts and it's just an injector. Yeah, I think we, I think we got to keep it. You can already <laughs> smell the problem, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
it Potent smells a lot like that. Unless the fuel injector already flooded the cylinder and now it's just... Yeah, now it's actually blown. Okay, let's see. You ready? Yep. Hmm? Nah. <laughs> Is it really that dead? Nah, it's not dead. Because all these lights will flicker uh... if it's dead. So this could honestly be seized. But I mean, it's turning a little bit. What I'm thinking is because it's a neutral. Bro, don't do it anymore. Don't do it anymore. No, I know. It smells like a plastic fire. Whew, it stinks. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it. Cause it, 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 it smells like a plastic fire right now. I'm not gonna lie. In conclusion. <laughs> We think the engine is blown. I'm pretty sure the engine's blown. I mean, the guys, from the listing, kind of makes sense. If they can't even get the car to start and they say mechanical, it's most likely engine. If it said engine start program, but it won't drive and it says mechanical, then I'm pretty sure it's the transmission. So the fact that we can't get this thing to even crank over really, you know, leads me to believe it's the engine. So that being said, I do smell a buttload of gas. I think one of the fuel injectors got stuck open. So one of the fuel injectors is bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, you know, start taking things apart and figuring out what exactly went wrong with this car and get some of these amazing parts listed up for some of you guys. Alrighty guys, we are checking if there are some index 12s and they actually tighten this down. I think this is the first time I've ever seen this tightened down to be 100% honest with you. And it's not even the original screws, so these are like so on, they're like torqued. Yeah, they're like, like torqued on there somehow. Like they're actually really hard to get off. Oh, this is pretty <laughs> easy actually. All right, let's see, moment of truth. Do we have index 12s, baby? Moment of truth. I'm not gonna lie, we've been getting kind of lucky, so if this one doesn't have index 12s, I wouldn't even be that upset. I wouldn't be that upset. <laughs> we've gotten index 12s in cars that shouldn't have had index 12s. That's true. <laughs> I actually can't read it. Index nine. Oh, rip, rip, Aroni, dude. Who swapped them out, dude? <laughs> Who put index this nine? This is a 2013. <laughs> is it all index nines? There's at least three of them that are index nine. <laughs> bro, oh, we got I finesse. had a feeling, bro. I had a feeling that this one's not gonna have it. This is the only 2013 N54 we've had. And this, out of all of them, should have index This 12. is the one that's supposed to have them. There's this no is way like, that's factory. I don't, they probably swapped them in. They probably just picked whatever set of injectors and threw them in there. Because remember, this came from a person. Yeah, this came from a person. Oh, that, that's actually probably why it smells like leaky fuel injector. He just swapped his probably all the stock stuff over for this car. Probably had another N54. That's so true. That's another reason, guys, you don't buy it from a person. This was from a person, unfortunately. I'm not going to lie, guys. I got this car from Copart. And I, 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 I've been getting some good cars. Copart? Getting finessed out here. Getting finessed, bro. I'm getting finessed. I'm going to go inside and start crying real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately guys, index nines, those are not that expensive. So it is a little bit unfortunate, but we do still have index 12s in stock if you guys are interested. And actually that ignition coil is different than all these other ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right in there, that one is gray way in the back. That one right there. And all these other ones are like black. So mismatched ignition coils some index nine injectors so whoever had this definitely definitely threw this back together anyway guys uh another little update in the back over there we got ourselves an e90 328i so if you guys need some e90 parts we finally got an e90 in for parts but uh, don't worry this video is for the 335 is only just wanted to mention that we did get an e90 in for parts so by the time you guys see this video this will probably already be posted on instagram it is pretty pretty collapsed in the front and on the back the whole wheel is missing uh but yeah anyway enough of this e90 back to the uh 335 is all right guys so we got the hub off how long do you think that took me what 20 minutes 20 minutes not too shabby not yeah. too bad honestly we got the hub. i honestly didn't destroy anything so we got everything off properly so uh even the, cal the caliper shouldn't be hanging like that but we don't typically sell the cable itself i'll take it off so we just sell the caliper by itself but i mean not too, not shabby. too shabby. So he's gonna be here literally. I think I heard a door close. Could be him. He's gonna be here any minute. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, you guys, it's been a few days. Unfortunately, we forgot to record some more footage of the 335 IS, but uh, we actually knocked out a ton of parts on this car. So if you guys see over here, we got the front bumper off, the whole front radiator support. A lot of the interior is just chilling over here. Uh, the engine is still in the car, but slowly taking that apart. Then if we look over here in the interior, pretty much everything is out that is needed. Dashboard, steering wheel, all the interior trims, seats, subwoofers, Literally everything that has value is has been taken out of this car. We actually already sold the rear bumper as well as the tail lights. Those sold pretty, pretty quick. Still got the exhaust on there. But yeah, guys, this is kind of how it's looking right now. Alrighty guys, so this N54 is now out of the car. It has a ton of oil leaks on here. I don't know if you guys can see this right there and down here. It's like the previous owner did not fix their oil leak. It turns out the reason that this engine actually blew was because it had a bad head gasket. So if you look in here in the radiator, it looks to be like oil and coolant mixed. From the looks of it, it looks like it was a blown head gasket, which honestly makes sense as it was a mechanical damage car. But we got this nice DCT out of it, so that's good. The DCT is actually worth more than the engine itself, so that is actually ideal. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. We're gonna go ahead and take some parts off of this engine since the block itself is actually not really worth anything like this. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take all this off and then uh, catch up with you guys in just a bit. All right, guys, so uh, we just finished parting out the 335 IS. It's already gone out of the shop. Uh, so we got all the parts breakdown for you guys. Um, so pretty much uh, we already made our money back off of the car. We already sold a lot of parts. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into those numbers right now. And just to put it out there, we, we, we made our money back off the car in the week that we were parting it out and filming this video. So yes. it's it, kind of crazy to say that you guys really love the E90X platform. Uh, I was honestly thinking with 220,000 miles, high mileage engine, high mileage transmission, which is where most of the money is at, we don't really care. Because it's a bad engine, tossed it. We took off some of the accessories, obviously. Yeah. Transmission is still a DCT swap kit, the cheapest DCT swap kit out there. Still have that, and we didn't sell that. And we already profited on the yeah, car. Yeah, we already made some profits. So it's, it's been about, a, to be honest, it's been about a week and a half since we went and picked it up. So it's already been quite a bit of time, but in that time we have already paid for the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and read off some stuff uh, that we already sold. So a few of the items that we already sold include wheels, interior, front bumper, air ducts, uh, coolant cooler, rear bumper, tail lights, CIC kit, steering wheel, uh, high pressure fuel pump, Seat belts, water pump, FRM, intake manifold, index nine injectors, engine cover, seat belt buckles, a few other miscellaneous stuff. But uh, for the most part, we already sold a good amount, which has already totaled to $4,761. So $4,761 so far. We're totally into the car, how much? I believe we were in it like 43 something, 44. So around there, 4,400, let's say. So, so far we've profited 300. So we already broke even. We already broke even about a week and a half in a week and a half, and we still have uh, on our eBay store, Natty Auto Parts, we have $12,140 worth of parts still available off of this car specifically. So, uh, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, yeah, Honestly, I, like, I, was, I was telling Jonathan, I was like, I think we can possibly make 8,000, so maybe we'll double our money on this car, just considering because the high mileage and the engine's blown, but we forgot there's so many like specific IS parts that are on that car, like. Exactly, like the trim, all the M Sport stuff, uh, the exhaust system, you know, just there's a lot of little things that add up, not to mention it's an LCI M Sport. So, um, it's just kind of crazy. So, when he came to me, he was like, hey, more than like triple. Actually, it's kind of quadruple if you think about it, because what we're looking at with the with, with what we sold already, plus the 4,000 of inventory, how much that's is about, that? I'd say that's almost $17,000. Plus 4761 about $16,901 uh, in total parts listed that we can actually make money on. Yeah, and we already sold 4,700 of it. A lot more than we imagined. It's not bad considering it's not technically an M car. Yes, it has mostly, it is full M Sport, so every single part is M Sport that can be, but it's not like it's an M3 or anything like that. It's just a 335 IS that is M Sport. And uh, it's pretty crazy to say that 
there's that much value in those parts specifically. Yeah, even like the cast and key is about 500 bucks, 495. Uh, just because it is the MSD81 ECU, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, just a few little things, even headlights, $740 each. And that, that's about those, how much they Those were, for. yeah, those, actually that's very low, to be honest. Like I remember when we rebuilt a 328 2013 for my brother, we paid roughly $1,000 with modules. We've been seeing them for like eight to 900, but we price ours, the cheapest ones out there. Again, we want things just moving. So 740 is being very conservative on two headlights with no broken tabs, all modules, perfect shape. Uh, perfect. And the lenses are honestly really good shape. Again, like it's insane to say the car had 220,000 miles. The only yeah. thing that showed wear on the car, obviously, was the engine. Yeah, the engine. And then the driver's seat. The driver's seat had a little bit of wear. That was about it. The rest of the interior was honestly in mint condition. Um, Trims uh, and steering wheel were in very good condition. Yeah, actually, you bought the steering yeah, wheel. He, he, you you looked at that steering wheel. 220,000 miles steering wheel was one of the best looking steering wheels we have ever seen. It was. So Jonathan was like, dude, I'm confident. So I'm like, It was garage right, kept, 100% garage kept, because there looked like no sun damage it, at all. It was also, uh, what's it called, makeup kept. <laughs> like <laughs> it, literally, it good. you can tell if some cars are driven with like a person with a lot of makeup because you can just tell by all the grooves and stuff like on the, the steering nails wheel, and stuff. The and nails and, and by all, like, all the switches and everything. You can just tell that this car was just it was very well taken care of. It was taken care of aesthetically. Engine, yeah. the worst oil. It was so caked. It was like caked there were some of the oil. accessories we just left on the engine because yeah. all the bolts and screws, like we couldn't even find <laughs> the bolts and screws. It was so bad. It was so bad. And then honestly, when we were trying to get a thread on the bolts and screws, it keeps stripping. So we just honestly junked most of that. Yeah. Um, but I think we should talk about some things that, uh, in terms of like uh, the most surprising item that we found out in terms of value and uh, something that we thought was worth a lot, but not so much, which we like to do in all of our videos. Uh, so I think the first thing, I think it's a given. What was something that we thought that was not worth a lot and then we were so shocked and how quickly it sold, now it's hitting them, how quickly it sold and how much it was worth. I don't remember. The Index 9s. Oh, the Index 9s. The yes. Index 9s. That's right. They were actually worth quite a bit. In the video, I already edited the video mostly, and in the video, we said that the Index 9s are not worth like anything. Turns out they were worth quite a bit. I guess they're like the second most popular uh, injectors that you can get for N54. And they turned out to be about 500 bucks. We sold them for exactly well, 500. 500. So again, we priced ours the cheapest ones out there. I think the cheapest set you found was like 600. I think right? the cheapest I found was 600. I figured 500 bucks is fair and a good deal to be honest. And then it actually ended up selling very quick. I think so within 24 hours, like it's it, pretty crazy. It was pretty quick that it sold. Um, I, no, I think it was within a week. Oh, like within a week? The first week of us okay. posting it, so, which is pretty good. If you can yeah. sell a part within a week, that's pretty good. So yeah, 500 bucks for index nines. So I think they're the second best then, I don't know. Apparently the nines and the 11s are still worth a little something, something. Again, we didn't think they're worth really anything. So unless we see index 12s, we really thought that, you know, it, it's like a $100 injector yeah. set to a $1,000 injector set. Yeah. So we didn't think much of it, but thankfully that ended up working in our favor. And like we said, we already sold that really quickly. Now, something that I thought was gonna be worth a lot, especially considering it looked really new on the car and it looks like it was replaced at one point. What was that, bro? The rear struts slash shocks. Um, not even stock ones. Like not even not stock. regular 335 ones. They're M Sport Bilsteins, and they were only worth 50 bucks a each, pop, which is not much. I thought it was going to be worth at least 150 minimum. That's what I was thinking. Each. But yeah, each. And they only and worth $50. 50 so if you guys want some M Sport Bilsteins, is it called Bilsteins? They're Bilsteins, yeah. Fif like if you guys want some M Sport Bilsteins rear shocks, which are already lowered, I think they're, actually, I think you need the springs too to fully make the lowering. Um, but what's crazy about these shocks though, is most of the cars that we get, like even with 80,000 miles, if I push down on the rear shocks, they come up either really slowly or they don't come up at all. Yeah. These come up so fast that I really, I barely had any time to get it out of the car. So these are definitely replaced at one point. There's no way there's 220,000 miles on them. The labels look really crisp and clean on there. Um, so again, 50 bucks. I know, it just felt too cheap, but that's how much they were going for. If we had a car to throw them on, you know, we, re we are rebuilding a 335 IS for my wife. She already has them. So in, you know, in our the case, point. there's no point yeah. to go through all that work. But if we had another car, I think you have coolovers, you have KWs. I have, I have KW coolovers. Yeah, so we're not gonna put that, stop, yeah. you know. But I mean, again, so. just a bargain. It really is a bargain. So in terms of stuff that we thought was gonna be more expensive or cheaper, those are those things, the index nines and then the rear struts slash shocks. Other than that though, 
surprisingly a good amount of parts off this car. I didn't count exactly how many parts, but I would say close to about 100 parts uh, just off of this IS alone. A lot of these M Sport parts just go for a lot of money. As long as the front end is typically, if it's good, the parts on the front end, especially on LCI E92s, are just worth quite a bit. Like you guys saw, the headlights. Like those go for a lot. Um, bumper, front M Sport bumper, those go for a lot as well. LCI hood. LCI hood, that goes for like at least 500 bucks. So the front end does hold a lot of value. Even the fan, the fan goes for Oof. a lot as well. I thought it was only gonna be like around a $200 fan. The fan alone goes for 500 bucks because it's a 335 IS. That fan is literally, I believe, only on ISs. And, uh, ISs and 335D and M57. M57. It's the same exact fan. Very expensive fan. And they're very expensive. Like, it is crazy. And not to mention, again, in front end parts, um, 335 ISs come with an oil cooler standard and it also comes with a, a coolant cooler. So typically you'll see 335s either come with a, either no coolers at all or a oil cooler, but the IS also comes with a coolant cooler. So you have two coolers in the front. Again, if you have one that's wrecked in the front, there's a lot of money you gotta spend to get everything sorted because again, all the money is in the front. So um, yeah, this it's kind of crazy. Right here. Yeah, that's, honestly, I oh thought maybe, I knew they were worth a lot of money. I just didn't know that much. They sell for 300 with multiple cracks on it. So that's, that's the crazy. 300 with multiple cracks? With multiple cracks. This one had no trap. broken tap. Because again, this one was not direct. It's a mechanical damage. Yeah, it was just the engine was bad on it. Like we couldn't get it started. As you guys saw in the video, we couldn't get it started. Um, the starter sounded like it was trying and it started like causing some smoke. So we're like, we're not even going to mess with it anymore. <laughs> it's a blown engine, realistically. Yeah. And then on top of that, in the radiator, it looked like it could have been a possible blown head gasket. I'm not a professional when it comes to knowing yeah, if it's a head we're gasket We're not a mechanic, not. We're, not, we're, we're not good at diagnosing stuff, but all I'm saying, the radiator was full of oil and coolant, the engine was full of oil and coolant. I mean, to be honest, not as much coolant as I thought with the engine oil itself, but there was a whole lot more. It could obviously be the oil filter housing, um, but if things mixed up together for a long period of time, that's where you, were, you know, end up having some serious mechanical issues. That's why be on top of your maintenance, guys. Yeah, guys, keep up with your maintenance for sure. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the 335 IS. Honestly, better car than we imagined for the price. So super happy with that. Um, our next car that we're actually going to be bringing in here um, is actually something we're not sure of. <laughs> so yeah, we, we haven't decided. We're trying to look for a good deal, something unique, something fun to bring to the YouTube channel. The IS is definitely one of them. The M6 is one of them. We're trying to buy something pretty cool. Um, we're also possibly going to be rebuilding a car here uh, on this channel, either in the next video or the video after this next video. It's going to be an M car, um, all in one video. Going to be jam packed. Going to be some good content for you guys. I guess we're going to have to conclude this video. Hopefully, we're going to have another jam packed for you guys at least once a week. That's our goal here. Yeah, once a um, week, if possible. We're gonna try our best for you guys. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Yeah, next video, here we go. <laughs> Later.